problems at the state's nuclear waste disposal plant started when a salt truck caught fire earlier this year. Now, the man who drove the truck says he nearly died that day. Only on 7, Action 7 News reporter Megan Cruz obtained this man's account of what happened on February 5th. It's part of a lawsuit filed by another employee who claims he's been sick ever since. I understood. <coughs> <laughs> Repeated agonized coughing. William Utter says it's all because of a fire at his workplace earlier this year. When I'm coughing, it gets so hard that my head hurts. It's like my brain is pounding. On February 5th, officials say a salt truck caught fire inside the waste isolation pilot plant near Carlsbad. Utter is now suing WIP. Included in his lawsuit is the sworn affidavit of the person who was driving the salt truck. The driver says he'd been working at WIP since September 2013, and yet he says he was never trained on how to deal with a fire on the vehicle he was driving that day. He didn't know how to use the portable fire extinguisher or the manual fire suppression system. According to the affidavit, the driver says several people tried to help put out the fire Fire, but the smoke was growing very thick. That's when he says management above ground turned off the ventilation system, even though people were still in the mine. He says miners can't survive very long without it. Employees called management saying, we need air. You are killing us down here. But the air never came back on. The driver claims the lights and alarms that are supposed to turn on in case of a fire didn't. He says he and his co-workers barely made it out alive. Megan Cruz, KOAT Action 7 News. WIP was closed later that month after there was a radiation leak at the plant. 22 workers tested positive for radiation contamination. WIP is the country's only nuclear waste dump. It hopes to resume operations by 2016.